good to go. Hey, Roger, and fire tower 702. Leaving 2000, turn left, hang 150. Runway 25 left, clear, take off. For takeoff, 25 left, that mic, leaving 2000, 150. Yeah, fire tower 702, stop, 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 stop. That's not an active runway. My apologies, 19 right, I apologize. I misunderstood, I think it was 19 uh, right that we were saying. Many people, they talk about uh, runway safety as, as a very nicely choreographed ballet. This uh, uh, dancer dances nicely with another dancer, with another dancer, and then you need to have a director to run the whole system as, as a nice choreographed system. Well, a weak link in the aviation system is really the, the beginning uh, of an incident or an accident. You're going to do something really stupid in your first two to three hundred hours and if it doesn't kill you, you're going to be a better pilot because of it. Piloting an aircraft often is hours of boredom and moments of terror. Your whole flight is one big emergency. Don't try to say, well, I think I can make this work. If you're going to go out there and say, luck is going to keep me safe today, well, I don't want to fly with you, I'll tell you that. Professionals don't intentionally deviate from standard operating procedures. Amateurs might, but true professionals don't. There are rules out there, and they are all designed about safety. The biggest difference between a survivable accident and a not survivable accident is what you've done to protect yourself. If you're going to fly an airplane, I think it's important that you you're never stop learning. Always realizing that each and every one of us are still the student, no matter if you're a 747 captain or if you're flying a 152. The most effective piece of safety equipment on this aircraft today is me. You may be a new private pilot, don't load your airplane up with friends and go think you're going to show them a great time because you may not. They, they quit work and they go out and get an airplane, they got their sport coat on and their loafers. And those don't end up very well if there's an accident. When we look at our numbers, about one out of six takeoff accidents involves a fatality. That's about the mathematical equivalent of spinning the chamber on a revolver and putting it at your head. Safety is paramount in all that you do. It can be fun, it can be challenging, it can be tedious, it can be all those things. But if safety is not paramount in what you do, you better get out of the airplane because that's what's going to keep you alive.